My name is Francis Ratniex. I'm Professor of Apiculture at the University of Sussex and Head of the Laboratory of Apiculture and Social Insects. This project has been carried out on two apple farms in Kent near Tunbridge Wells in a village called Five Oak Green. It's called Helping Bees and Agricultural Pollination in Farmland. It is a project being carried out by a PhD student, Nick Balfour, under my supervision, and it is being funded by Waitrose. Pollination is the name given to the process in plant reproduction where pollen is transferred from the male part of a flower to the female part of the flower when it then is able to fertilise, if you like, the egg, which results in a seed, and in the case of apples, also a fruit. Now, apples are a plant which require cross-pollination. What that means is that the pollen produced on one plant cannot be used to pollinate the same plant. The pollen has to come from a different apple tree. Indeed, it has to come from a tree of a different variety or cultivar. In some farms what they do is they plant crab apples along the rows. Now these crab apple trees are not used for making a crop of apples. They're solely there to provide pollination. They have a lot of flowers on them. The bees pick up pollen and then as they go to the next tree they will be able to pollinate it. The honeybee is a pretty amazing animal and one of the most amazing things it does is it communicates. And one of the ways they communicate is by making dances. This is known as the waggle dance. And a honeybee forager, which has found a good patch of flowers, when it gets back to the hive, it can waggle its body, making a dance. And by the speed of this dance and the angle of the dance, the bees nearby it can tell where the flowers are. And what we do is we have the beehive in a special glass-walled hive, so we can actually see the dances going on. We simply videotape the dances, play back the dances very slowly on a computer, and, and measure the speed of the dance and the angle of the dance. Now when bees come back to the hive, many of them have got pollen on their legs and their pollen baskets and we put a small mesh in front of the hive entrance and it knocks off some of the pollen pellets of the incoming bees and the pollen can then be analysed to determine, for example, what proportion is apple. We do other things as well, for example, walking up and down the rows of trees in bloom we can count which insects are actually visiting the trees, pollinating. For example, what proportion of honeybees, what proportion of bumblebees, other types of bees and flies. So this tells us how important in general the honeybees are at providing pollination to the apple trees. What we're trying to do is to find some information which nobody's ever collected before, which is where do the bees from hives in the apple farms actually go? Bees are decreasing in numbers and the amount of crops requiring pollination is increasing. So we have to understand better and better how to use our bees to the main effect or to the best effect to give adequate pollination. Fruits, vegetables, all kinds of things we eat require bee pollination. It will take us a year or more to analyse our data fully and to write it all up. In particular, decoding the waggle dances is very time consuming. One thing that was easy to determine was the insects visiting apple flowers. Honeybees were in the majority at nearly two thirds, other bee species nearly one third, and the rest were flies at less than a tenth. We are looking forward to finding out what else our data have to tell us about apple pollination.